Hey guys, Kyle Chambers here with Cinnamon Creek Archery. I'm here today with Sam Thrash and Chester Barnes of Fall Obsession. And today Sam brought me his uh, new CBE Engage site that we're going to install on his new Elite. So follow me and I'm going to go ahead and install that for him today and show you how to get this thing set up. All right, if you guys notice, this side actually has a dovetail system. We're not gonna worry about where to set this just yet. Uh, Sam's gonna have to draw this bow back, look to the peep, and we're gonna have to match the housing up to the peep side based off of the dovetail. How's your image? Image is good. I think I'd like. Are you seeing a little more, a little more space around this ring? I, than I'm seeing more space around it, so I think I'd like it to come. I'd back like in. to come back in a little. Bit. Okay. We're just gonna go one, at this point. A little better? Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, perfect. All right. One of the great features also of this site is that it has the ability of adjusting the second and third axis, which is crucial for uphill downhill shots. So now we're gonna go ahead and step on over to the machine. I wanna show you how to set the second and third axis on this particular site. All right, we're gonna make sure that we drop the level on your string. What we're checking is to make sure that the level back here is equal to the level up front, which obviously there needs to be a little bit of tuning there. Uh, our bubble seems to be on the right side of that hash mark, so we need to tilt this head this way just a little bit to get that bubble level with the string. To adjust the axis on this particular site, the second axis, it's gonna be these two screws here and here. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have our level here equal to our level here. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Now to check the third, we're gonna to have to do so on an angle. So we're gonna angle the sight down and up, and if you'll notice, that bubble is dancing a little bit from one side to the other. So we're gonna tilt it down, and we're gonna adjust our third. Now the third axis adjustment is this way, side to side, or front to back. We're gonna loosen these two set screws, top and bottom. Didn't need much, just a touch. Okay, let's check it. Nice and smooth. Bubble.
bubble never changes. So we're going to lock it down and that should complete the second and third axis adjustment. So as you guys just seen, we just set the second and third axis. We did so with this HTM and it's just a basic way to do the second and third. Uh, there are a little more precise ways to do it, but just for your basic bow hunter, this system works really good for that. So, so be sure to stick with us because the next video, we're going to show you how to set this side in.